welcome to my video where I'm going to be doing a demo and a review of the Jasmine Bath Bomb from um, the Mother's Day range in 2022. So I'm just going to pop it in and then I will film it. Um, but it's a lovely design, it's a really cute pretty little flower and it's quite thick as well. Um, and this one wasn't too expensive, so this one was £4.50 which um, I don't think is too bad. Um, so we'll pop it in and see what it's like and then I will let you know what the ingredients are. So um, there's rice starch, citric acid, perfume, um, titanium dioxide, jasmine absolute, um, it's got ylang ylang oil, water, tapioca pearl, and then it's got some other bits in there. So um, mainly the two scents are going to be jasmine and the ylang ylang. So um, I look forward to see what it smells like. Um, I imagine that it's probably going to be white or yellow water. I wonder if it's going to surprise me with a different colour. Have any of you tried this one yet? If you have, let me know what you thought of it. So it's eight minutes now and it's still going. Um, it's turning into more of a complete blob now with the yellow bit in the middle. But yeah, I think the water's just gonna be quite a white color. Right, so it's 10 minutes now and it's almost coming to an end. There's still a few little bits fizzing away. Um, so no surprise, central colour, it is pretty much a white bath bomb and as you can see there isn't much in the way of bath art or anything like that. So it's just a very simple bath bomb. Um, the scent isn't overpowering which is good for me um, because this was one I was hesitating on buying because that's when I saw the florals. Um, but yeah, so so far um, it's okay and what I'll do is I'll report back after my bath. Okay, so I'm out of the bath now and yeah the colour of the bath water is like a it's like a milky sort of colour. Um, and I have to say I take it back. Um, I did hesitate whether or not to buy this one because I thought this would be the one that I would really hate being that it's all floral. And I have to say it's actually quite nice. So um, it's to me it just smells like a really strong with a little bit of hint of floral talcum powder. And um, because the bath bomb isn't huge, it, and once it's in with the water, it dilutes quite a lot. Um, the scent does linger on your skin. I can still smell it on my arms now. And um, there isn't glitter in there. There isn't a lot of oil in there. So if you don't like oil or glitter, this would be good for you. And obviously it's not an expensive bath bomb either. But yeah, I'm actually quite surprised. I didn't think I'd like this one at all, which is why I left it till last. The irony, I really thought I would like the besties more than this one. And yeah, it's the other way around. I prefer this to besties. So, so far, the Yummy Custard is still my favorite product from this year's Mother's Day range. Um, I'm looking forward to using that tomorrow. There it is in the corner, ready to go, because I haven't used it because I've been having all the baths and doing the bath demos. And um, yeah, probably the second product, my favourite, was the rose gold bath bomb. I just really liked the bath art, all the glitter, and um, it was quite a big bath bomb as well. And the scent was actually quite nice. So um, my worst product is still, so far, the Mimosa shower gel and probably the Buzzy Bee. I'm not a big fan of either. But then that's personal taste. I think it's the sweet wild orange oil that I, I can pick up. That's all I can smell, so I don't like that. Um, my boyfriend um, bought past the bathroom as well, and I asked him what he thought of the smell of this, and he said, oh, it's, it's quite strong. Um, but he said, I much prefer that to the, um, the Mimosa shower gel. If you haven't seen that review, you can see what he thinks about that one. Um, but yeah, if you're um, liking these videos, don't forget to press the like button. Um, I've got more videos coming up and I plan on doing the Easter range as well because that looks like a really good range. So that'll be my next batch of videos probably. And um, yeah, so like, subscribe and also let me know if you've tried things. It's really nice to get feedback and see what you think about products as well. 
But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.